I guess what I'm trying to say in this will uh, probably sneak up to this question a few times, which is whether we can build machines that are conscious uh, or machines that are intelligent, human level intelligence or beyond without building the consciousness. I mean, ultimately that's one of the ways to understand what consciousness is, is to, is to build the thing. We can, we can either sort of from the Chomsky way, try to construct models, like he thinks about language in this way, try to construct models and theories of how the thing works, or we can just build the damn thing. Exactly, and uh, that's a methodological principle in cognitive science. In fact, one of the things that uh, sort of distinguishes cognitive science from other disciplines uh, dealing with the nature of cognition in the mind is that cognitive science takes the design stance. It asks, well, could we build a machine that would not only simulate it, but serve as a bona fide explanation of the phenomena? Do you find any efforts in cognitive science compelling in this direction, in terms of how far we are? There's, there's uh, on the computational side of things, something called cognitive modeling. There's all these kinds of packages that you can mm -hmm. construct simplified models of how the brain does things and see if com complex behaviors emerge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you find any efforts in cognitive, or what efforts in cognitive science do you find most uh, inspiring and productive? I think the project of trying to create um, AGI, artificial general intelligence, is where I place my hope of artificial intelligence being of scientific significance. This is independent of technological socioeconomic significance, which is already well well established. But being able to say, because of the work in AI, we now have a good theory of cognition, intelligence, perhaps consciousness. I think that's where I place my bets, is in the current endeavors around artificial general intelligence. And so, tackling that problem head on, which has now become central, at least to a group of cognitive scientists, is I think what needs to be done. And uh, when you think about AGI, do you think about systems that have consciousness? Let's go back to what I think is at the core of your general intelligence. So right now, compared to even our best machines, you are a general problem solver. You can solve a wide variety of problems in a wide variety of domains. And some of our best machines have a little bit of transfer. They can learn this game and play a few other well-designed rule-bound games, but they couldn't learn how to swim, right, or et cetera, things like that. And so what's interesting is what seems to come up, and this is some of my published work, in all these different domains of cognition, across all these different problem types is a central problem. And since we do have good sort of psychometric evidence that we do have some general ability that's a significant component of our intelligence, I made a, an argument as to what I think that general ability is. And so it's happening right now. The amount of information in this room that you could actually pay attention to is combinatorially explosive. The amount of information you have in your memory, long-term memory, and all the ways you could combine it, combinatorially explosive. The number of possibilities you can consider, also combinatorially explosive. The sequences of behavior you can generate, also combinatorially explosive. And yet somehow, you're zeroing in. The right memories are coming up, the right possibilities are opening up, the right sequences of behavior, you're paying attention to the right thing. Not infallibly so, but so much so that you reliably find obvious what you should interact with in order to solve the problem at hand. And that's an ability that is still not well understood within AGI. So filtering out the gigantic waterfall of data. Right, it's almost like a Zen Cohen. What makes you intelligent is your ability to ignore so much information and do it in such a way that is somewhere between arbitrary guessing and algorithmic search. 